You know what the worst part of living in a fascist dystopian hellscape is? <laughs> the shit they put on TV. Let's do this. Oh, oh no, 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 we're falling, we're falling. <laughs> Hey guys, new to the channel is going to be this KLX 300. Uh, I picked this up used. Um, it basically, if I have someone that wants to come ride with me, this is a good cheap bike that, you know, somebody that's maybe new to riding, it'll be easy to ride. Um, so uh, let's go try it out on the test hill and see how it compares to the beta and the gas gas and anything else we bring out here. So the, the, the bike itself, I don't have my uh, shifter adjusted for my motocross boots, so it might give me a little grief. But the bike itself, I picked this up for 4,500 used. You know, pretty good deal. I put dirt tires on it. Um, the same exact front tire as the uh, Beta Cross Trainer. The rear tire is a Track Master 2, I believe. But it definitely doesn't have the power the cross trainer has. But a lot of people that are learning to ride motorcycles, they might start out on this. This makes a good street bike. Uh, so, you know, somebody might have a curiosity of how it compares to like a cross trainer. All right, guys. So this is my test hill. It's about a 40 something degree sand hill. It's pretty hard. I've done it on my cross trainer, my Rehu. I just did it on my brother's gas gas, uh, EC300 easily. His bike by far the easiest to make it up here. Here we are on the KLX 300, dual sport. Fresh tires, Shinko front, same as cross trainer. Tend to track master back. Um, we're gonna try. I just tried, I, I failed miserably. I'm gonna try it hard in second, maybe maybe going to third, we'll see. Um, I made about halfway last time. Uh, let's see what happens. All right, here we go. Oh, a three. We're in third, second. We are about a little further than last time. Uh, last time we just started walking backwards. Alright, trying to get them stuck in the rut. So we're about halfway. Halfway up the hill. And without serious traction, there is no way this, this bike's gonna make it. Alright. We're getting there. We're getting there. There we go. Maybe if I hit that grass over on the side, I might be able to get a better run or try this outside line. There's just not as much power as the two strokes. I was getting a lot of traction, getting a lot of bite, but as you saw, I had to downshift right at the base of the steep part of the hill. And uh, that's uh, usually I can make it all the way up and third on my cross trainer. But I don't think there's any way, any way we're gonna make it on this. I'm gonna get a longer run up. So we'll go to the bottom. I'll get it in third near red line. And we'll try and hit that corner. And we can see how the KLX 300 can handle the test hill. Normally on any of my two strokes, I don't need to start all the way down here. But usually I just cruise up in third or something and then hit it right at that chair about. Um, except on the gas gas, I hit it way up into the hill. That thing just got so much 
you know bark it just wow cross trainer it's pretty mellow um uh the ray who has a little more mid-range but we'll do it from third from here because we definitely won't do it before all right third gear hope i don't hit that log again oh hit something we're bugging let's go a little bit to stand here nope nope all right guys you can see how steep the trees are here i'll see if i can get, get a view we're not to the steepest part yet it gets steeper right about there so we're right here so that's three attempts the KLX 300 and it made it about halfway every time still pretty respectable but not in the same ballpark in this video I'm probably going to splice together some stuff comparing the beta whoops comparing the beta to the KLX and let's go down uh, the side trail and see how it does where's that log at I hit that log and it threw me sideways all right somewhere down here oh there it is well, I get it later now I don't know how far I'll be able to go so once again my shifter is not in the right spot for my boot well, let's see how the KLX does on the trails here so far it feels good I got no real complaints Oh, hit a, hit a tree with my foot. Has enough power to be fun. Not enough power though to rip some wheelies when you're on the trail. That's the one thing it lacks. All that grunt that you would need just to loft the front tire. I mean, you can, you can probably clutch it up, but you're not gonna probably do that on a stand like this. There's just too much blue sand it needs a lot more bark to get, get that front end lofted up but traction wise pretty good now if i remember right this is a really steep hill but it's like a two track so let's see how far we go up it we're in first let's go in a second it gets really steep I don't think we've hit the steep part yet. <laughs> this is my brother's uh, trail to his hunting blind. Yeah, we didn't hit it yet. Here it is. Let's see what we can do. Oh, dang. I compressed my spine. Might have to clutch it a little. Give it a little clutch. Oh, we might make it! I think we got it! Do we? That's impressive! That's a pretty steep hill! We made it all the way up! KLX did pretty good there! Just had to give it a little bit of clutch! Just the tiniest bit, keep momentum! The tires are handling the sand pretty good. I mean, they're not they're not perfect, but they're doing pretty good. The soft suspension, it did bottom out on me on that hill going up. I hit something pretty hard. I don't know what it was. But not bad. I gotta adjust the shift lever, drive me crazy. But overall this, this KLX, it it it's pretty confidence inspiring. I'm surprised. 
Uh, my brother took it for a ride earlier when we went to town and uh, he liked it. He said if he had to do like the tat or something, if he was going to do that, this would be a really good bike for that. And I, I tend to agree. Although I would say we both agreed that we have to make this bike more comfortable for us to ride on. So stock to bar is a real low. Um, we're taller guys. We're over six feet. And um, the bars need to go up. So we, we would need and forward because this is the hill that I was just climbing. And if you can see, you can't see it go down. So it's pretty darn steep. We're right at the top. But yeah, like the bars need to go forward. I like my bars in the middle of the forks. So maybe we bought some offset risers to shift them forward, taller. It'd be nice if they were one of the eighth bars, you know, like some fat bars. Um, see our high bends, I like them. Um, but that would that would really make a big difference. Um, if we were doing the chat, seat's pretty good, but I'd probably get a seat concept. I put a cheap rack on here just for fun. Let's go down the steep way. So we didn't make it up this hill, but I'm gonna show you the, what it's like to go down it. Whoa, whoa, I lost my balance there. So these new boots, I'm having a hard time getting a feel for the rear brake. And that's just me. But so we made it to all these turnaround marks right about here. So, and you know what's nice about the KLX 300 is the suspension is adjustable. So I could probably stiffen up the suspension a little, make it a little better on trails like this. I think that would be uh, that would help it out a lot. It definitely feels small. Even my cross trainer is a smaller bike. It's like a 85% or 95% full size. But the cross trainer feels so much bigger than this bike. All right. So I hit this thing twice today. So if we, we jump over it, it'll be better. That way it won't buck us sideways. But um, you know, I know it's not it's not normal to compare a cross trainer, a bull blown 302 stroke to a 300 four stroke that's a cheaper dual sport. But I know there's a lot of people that um, they buy a, a KLX as a starter bike, and then they'll eventually upgrade to something. And a cross trainer is a really good natural progression. And just so you can see the difference. In performance, it's good to see a video like this. Like I'll have, I'll slice in my cross trainer climbing that hill, and I'll probably climb it a couple more times, probably different times of day, just so you can see. So this this bike, this is all sand here. So this bike, it just doesn't have the power to to go up the sand. It probably could do this hill here. We will try it. This hill is pretty steep, but it's got a lot of grass on it. So let's. Let's go try that. Um, cross trainer can climb every hill, but I haven't tried white face yet. White face is our secret hill. And this is all on our private property, so please no one no one come here. We uh we'll we'll trust that to you. We don't want people riding around. We might someday open this up, but right now it's not open to anyone for our family. So let's try a second. It's pretty ruddy up here. I'm going to have to cross over to Big Rud. So, it's wide open. There's another rut here. This hill is probably 30, 25, 30 degrees. 30 degrees is something hot. And with dirt tires, KLX to climb it second with no problem. See, turn around, you could really kind of get perspective for how steep it is. I'll come over here to the edge. So it's probably more, it might be more than 30 degrees. It might be like 35, 30 to 35 degrees. 
I'll have to come out here with a level one day and put it on the hill. But it's less steep over there. It's real steep here. But, um, you know, this is the KLX 300 dual sport climbing some steep hills. This is a pretty steep hill here. Let's go down it. It's really grassy here. So grass makes a huge difference when you have traction and power. Because I could climb most hills at first if I have traction. So this, this is probably 45 degrees here. You heard it spin right there in the sand, but it went up easy at first. If you got traction, it'll go up. I'll tell you what, let's go down this hill and we'll go to the next hill, which is steeper. And it, there's a little bit of grass on it, but there's some ruts on it too. And what's kind of cool about a four stroke is when you're going down these hills like this, you got engine braking. You know, you don't have to really work the brake as much. So, so far, this is my first day riding this bike on anything like this. And, you know, even though it's not my two stroke, it's still fun. I mean, if I was buying this bike as my only bike and I was a new person, you could go out and have a lot of fun with it. You know, especially if you could pick one up used for like 4,500 bucks. I mean, it's, it's a lot of bang for your bucks. I mean, a cross trainer, what's that? Like, Nine, almost nine grand, 8,700, something like that. Um, it, 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 the natural progression though would be to a cross trainer or a Rehu Ranger. Um, I would not recommend somebody going straight from this to a, a TE300 Husqvarna or a EC300 Gas Gas. They just got so much more bark um, in line. So this hill is really steep. It's like 45 degrees or more. It's a lot steeper than that end hill. But there's a lot of grass on it. So I think I'll get stuck in second. I don't know if I'll make it to those trees. But I could climb this hill easy on my cross right now. But I'll give it a try. Hopefully I don't fall. Let's see guys. It's my first day here. Let's see what happens. You see the trees? Like right here, you can see there's an angle. Um, up there though, it's totally different. Alright. In the grass, this. Woo! Oh boy. <laughs> Whoa, all right. I think I could make it, but I wheelied up there. I was trying to get over, but I was in a rut, and uh, I didn't want to go too far to the right because I didn't want it to come back on me. But you can see my path, and you see here, you know, you can see some of the trees. Oh, these are too close to tell, but yeah, so we did it almost. Oh, Jesus, the bike's a little heavier than a, than a beta, but I am kind of in a rut. Whoa, it's just sliding on me. All right, there's a way out if I could go straight that way. Yeah, I tweaked my thumb a little. Oh, if I fall to the right, I'm screwed. <laughs> All right, I think I got this. There is a path there. We can make it to that thing. All right, we made it. I'll come back and I'll try that hill again. But if this makes it, and first, I'll be impressed. But that is a hill that uh, my cross trainer can do in third. Same thing with my Rehu. I can climb that in third in either of them. Whew. But that was a little sketchy. Now, mind you, 
I'm not a pro rider. I'm 52 years old. I'm getting up there in my age. And uh, this is the first time I've been riding since, since winter ended. So I'm pretty rusty. So there's guys that are a lot better than me that can ride and climb probably all these hills. But the real sandy ones, they're not going to climb. I don't care who they are. There's just not enough power. But it, having a power bike like this that's a little bit underpowered sometimes is a lot more fun than having a really powerful bike that um, you can barely control. Even though you can roost every corner and zip around and you know throw dirt at your friends. Um, you can get hurt a lot easier. You can loop out. You can you can um, go faster and crash. I mean, the faster you crash, the more it's gonna hurt. And um, yeah. So that's the gist of today's ride. And I'll slice in some more content for this video. Uh, I'll try and get my brothers brother's bike I'll try and get him to let me take it, take it for some uh, hill climbs just to show you guys the power difference it's pretty pretty big ah, oh that's three we're in third second I get the weight back compare that way I can see how close I stay with you. You'll destroy me but I'll let you have the hit. Whoa. 